in terms of the way Sticks played, I mean, this was this was sort of, I think, probably a game where he just took over the game in the second half. Yeah, uh, he did. He dominated. Uh, he dominated the offensive gra- the offensive glass, the entire second half. Um, and we wasn't even playing through him. He just found ways. I always talked to him about impacting the game just through other ways. Um, and the day he, he, he impacted the game all, on the offensive glass. How yeah, much pressure does this take off you guys? And- because of the way this season, you know, ended in Chicago, and then the whole thing about not winning a game in the postseason. Uh, me personally, I don't ever feel pressure. Uh, it's basketball. It's something we've been playing our entire life. Uh, it's, it feels good to get this win. Uh, we still got more work to do, uh, but we're gonna enjoy this for, for the day. Thanks, Dad. No problem. I talked to you after you played Purdue. Uh, Matt, I can't remember the guy's name from Purdue, but you, you, had, his, yeah, you had him all night. He was sort of demonstrative. Well, that's my the favorite. young man that you covered today seemed a little more quiet, but certainly had the long-range game. What did you make of him playing against him? Uh, he's a good player. Uh, he could score from all three levels. Um, he shoots the ball real well. He found a rhythm early. Uh, he stuck with that rhythm throughout the game. Uh, he's definitely a tough guard. He, he has a lot of talent. This is Mason Miner. Listen to the Young Terps podcast on CapitalSportsBlog.com and TerpTalk.com, the number one rated Maryland sports podcast. When the game got under five minutes, he seemed to lose his mark. Was he getting tired? Were you getting to him? Any input on what happened down the stretch until he made that dunk? But that wasn't a shot at any distance. Um, I don't know. Uh, I know they played on Tuesday. Maybe he was getting tired. Uh, I would like to say it was my defense, but my defense wasn't getting it done throughout the rest of the game, so I really don't know what it was. Uh, yeah, but see, that's the thing about defense. You played 40 minutes of defense. The last five of those yeah. couldn't overcome what you were doing. And that's why they say if you bring your defense, good things happen. Yeah, uh, that's just a credit to my team, just keeping me confident throughout the game. Um, Anthony, Eric, Bruno, Sticks, all of them just talking to me, telling me, keep going. Even though he was hitting tough shots, just telling me, keep going, keep going. We're going to find a way to win, and we did. A couple times out of the Bruno double team, which was to your left, he found you to the side away from the bench, and you cut in there, and, and you looked like the guy that played in high school. Now, you were ringing it. <laughs> could, could you feel the, the, the difference in your level at that point? Um, it's something we worked on. Uh, we know teams are going to double Bruno. Uh, he's such a good big man. It's, it's tough to guard on one-on-one. So uh, I always tell Bruno, if I'm opposite, I'm cut. I'm coming right to it. So he knew every time he got it, if, I, if he didn't see me, he knew I was going to be in the middle of the paint trying to make a play for him. Um, so he just had confidence in me. He, he gave me the ball, and I, and I just tried my best to make a play.